Okay, so now we will move on to looking at resource constraints in the network logic. Okay, so I have actually shown a bit of the constraints which I can I want to use, and I want to discuss this a little bit uh, before we I actually start. So, so we, we have the same network now. All I have done in this is to say that activity six can start only after the the resources from three have been released. Okay, because three, six, and nine are piling. I'm saying I need a piling rig. I can only start. 6 after 3 is complete, I can start 9 after 6 is complete. Okay. Similarly, I am assuming all of this like 4, 7, 10 need the same crew, 5 crew and equipment, 5, 8 and 11 need the same. So, I am just assuming symmetry and, and putting this through. Now, uh, do you see any anything in this network which you would change? Right, right. The blue arrows become redundant. Okay, so what do we mean by redundant? So, for example, we are saying here that we know that piles have to be cast for six to do, be done. We know that it can only start once, three, three, once three is done. So, so actually, I am I'm having the influence of one through both through three and one directly. Is there anything analytically wrong with this? If I do a forward pass based on this. Is there anything analytically wrong with having redundancy? I will have to take the maximum. Hmm? So, you so, keep only one, I mean, if there is a particular sequence, when you say that uh, 6 follows 3 and okay. 9 follows so, 6. So, this is the alternate without with redundancy is removed. Yeah. This is the network, this is with redundancy. Okay. Now, you, uh, will my analysis change with this? If I have this versus this, will my analysis change? Yeah, when you actually do it, the early start, you look. You are looking at the maximum. Early start right? the maximum. No, it won't. It doesn't matter. Okay. It really will not change, but when you have redundancy, your calculations increase. Your, your network complexity increases. Okay. The number of relationships are more. And it becomes difficult not only for the computer to handle it, but if you are trying to decipher the network, there is just a lot of relationships around and it becomes more difficult. Okay, so you can check, you know, and see if, if there is any change in uh, relationship and any change in, in analysis due to the relationship. But you will find that if we start defining relationships with redundancy, there's just a lot we can continue to keep defining in a real project. Sir, if uh, like activity one is so large that uh, three is very small, like once you get uh, this resource, will be like getting the resources so large than placing them, hmm. then it might affect six. In what no, way? However, no matter what right. you do, you should cut complete. So, so by, by saying time. that 6 will start only after 3 is complete and Doesn't 3 is will start only after 1 is complete makes 3 the controlling uh, factor. Okay. So, so, now if we take this network, so now you can see compared to the earlier network, there is a lot more zigzag in this. Okay, there is the relationship is flowing in in different directions. So let us uh, put this network up and try and and uh, solve it. I am tempted to I'll have to do this, otherwise it's going to run into trouble. Okay, I have my start as earlier. I have two, I have my one. I am not going to do this, I am taking it. The earlier I had the 6, this time I am going to have the 6 come from 3, 
okay now i go so this was the piling this was the pile cap let me do this in a different color again is this redundant 6 3 6 7 3 4 7 think about it okay Okay, so now my relationship between six and nine is also a resource. Okay, nine and ten is a physical. Okay, so eleven. This is up to the abutment again. Eight and eleven is a resource-driven relationship. My two and twelve. this is the place beam on the east side okay it requires 5 and 8 okay the crane that is going to be used there will be released and then i will only only then i'll be able to do 13 which is place on the west side which is now 8 and yeah. okay Earlier we had a 2 to 13 relationship. Is it needed? Not needed at this time. Okay. Now, once I do this, I have I can place the deck slab, but I have only one crew. I have to place the deck slab on one side, release the crew, and only then the deck slab can be placed. I had a 14 to 16 relationship, not required again. Okay. So, so I have got rid of these redundant relationships. Okay, is there is what about my eight to thirteen? Unless I, if if I am doing eleven, it means. So not required because if I am finishing problem. 11 it means I have finished 8 okay so this is an error relationship is also not so as the network gets more complicated and as you start bringing resource flows into it you will have to look out for redundancy in the process okay durations are the same okay we have uh, 15 20, 12, 8, 36, 6, 7, 27, 12, 8, 36, 7, 7, 7, okay, let us go through the 0, 0, 0, okay. So, we go through this path. Okay, this is the so so you 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 can visualize this. This is the east side. There's no, there's, this is the first side to get all the resources. Okay, so we are going to go through with this without. Uh, 
yeah, 3571. So now this starts at 27. 33. Now I have a predecessor here. Oh, did I? Okay, so now this is controlling. 35. 42. Right. Now what is 8? 71. Okay, it is going to now be 71 because it is waiting. So what does this imply? That means the pier is finished, I mean sorry, the pile cap is finished, it is waiting, it is waiting for uh, yeah, the crew from the abutment to come and finish this. Okay. 71, 98, okay. what about here? So uh, we are done with this. Now we are waiting for. Okay, so twelve. I can finish twelve now, right? Okay. What was the duration we got in the earlier project? One one eight. Seems to be something which has changed. Thirty-three, forty-five. So now forty-five, forty-two, forty-five. One. Thirty-four. Okay, and here we have one thirty-four. One forty-one. Correct? Yes, 141. So this was now. So now we have 105. One forty one. Fifty six. Okay. So what is the critical path obvious? How does it go? I mean, when you compare it to the earlier case, the earlier case we could e physically see how the critical path went. Here we, we start with where are we? Should we do the backward? So we go through 1, 3, from 3 what happens? It, it goes to 6 or it, wait, 35? I think it goes to 4. Actually, we should do the backward pass, but let us try to make a guess if we can see. Look at this 35 is controlling here. So it goes through 4, comes down here, okay, and here what is controlling? No, no, let us let's start from here, okay. We go this 156 is controlled here, okay, and this 141 is controlled here, okay, 134 is coming from here, okay, 98 is coming from up here, okay, and this is coming from 71 coming from up here. 35 okay going through this now yeah here there is a here there's float here there's float okay so the actually critical path goes this 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 so it uh, at so at a certain stage so at a certain stage it crosses from one side of the uh, of the bridge to goes all the way across and this is happening at which physical requirement the abutments, those abutments are what is, yeah, what is time consuming and they are resource hungry. Okay. Now, uh, what I am suggesting you do, so we have got the critical path, you will be able to find that I want you to do the calculation on the floats, okay, the various floats and when we start the next class, we will briefly discuss the values you got and issues like how can resources be managed? It is a broad discussion. We have a separate lecture on resource management and resource allocation. But how can resources be managed and 
how do we actually do what we want to do on a project with this? Just out of curiosity of, of management, which, which network do you prefer? Why? Better resources, we can complete it earlier. So more realistic. Look, realistic. Yeah, look at the duration. Look at the duration. What was the earlier duration? 118. 63 days more. Right? So it's a lot more days because your resource constraints. Acceptable. Okay, so now again we start. Now here there's a lot of uh, what you call opportunity for parallelization if you want to bring the duration down. Now what if 181 days is not acceptable? So you have to get more resources or can I do, there are many ways you can do. In fact, we are assuming only one shift of work or something, you do multiple shifts with same resources, things like that. And uh, you, you, as you, okay, I will actually take this up more for discussion. There are quite a few interesting uh, patterns in this network. Okay, for example, you will find when you get into float, here you have, in the other case, how many activities are critical? Almost all were critical except for a handful. Here. There's only what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine critical. There are quite a few of the critical path. One, two. Here the critical path is not so. So after I actually got get my uh, get my east span, yeah, placed. Of course, they get gets critical. But for example, this deck then becomes non-critical. Okay, so so. There has to be a very close management of the network to understand what's critical, what's not critical. If we accidentally are in one of these, let us say you exceed the duration, you exceed the float, then another path becomes critical. So these kind of issues, it requires closer management of the network and that is acceptable because you are using fewer resources. Okay, so we will start the next class with a discussion on the floats you got on this and any questions you have on the floats. Okay, and how we would use the float to be able to see if there is any pattern or what we can do from project management. Okay.